Hello there, I'm Black Bright News and I just wanted to um, let you know of a couple of new laws for 2024. You probably know about them already. If you do, you don't need to comment, you can just ignore the video, okay? Because, you know, sometimes I do these videos and people tell me that they know it already. But just because you as an individual know, know it already, it doesn't mean everybody else knows it. So this, my videos are really for those people who don't know it already. OK, so um, first of all, we've got the minimum wage that's going up from £10.42 to £11.44. That's going to be a more expensive for the employers, but better for the employees. But what have you noticed when you're going into the restaurants and into shops now? There's less staff. So what they're doing, because they're upping the individual, uh, the minimum wage, you're getting less staff. The other day I went into, which shop did I go into? I don't know if it was Lidl or one of them, but there was one staff member. In the, po well, in the post office, it's not too bad because they have government salaries. But most places you go, have you noticed, there's hardly any staff. And that's because they keep upping the minimum wage. So what the employers are doing, they're just cutting out the employees. So it's not doing anybody any get any good. All it's doing is increasing unemployment. Anyway, don't let me go there. So then you've got the XL Bully Dog ban, and that's from the 1st of February 2024. Um, you've got the lengthening of leases from 90 years to 990 years and the capping of ground rent. I'm kind of glad about that because you think 99 years, it's a long time, or 90 years, it's a long time, but it's not. Not these times. And I know that mine has run out. So I'll wait until they increase it and then I'll have to pay. And it's a few grand you have to pay to increase your lease. And then if you don't increase the lease, you can't sell the property when you're ready. So it's something that people have to do. So a new law to be introduced to stop children who turn 14 from ever legally being sold cigarettes. At the moment, it's 16. Now, is that going to further criminalise young children, young people? Because if they do, if the police stop them and they've got a cigarette on them, before it used to be drugs, now if they've got a cigarette on them, it's against the law. So, and then they'll probably have to report the shop that they bought the cigarettes from. Um, I, can kids get around it? Of course they can. They can ask somebody older to get it for them. But as of 2024, as long as a child is the age of 14, he will never be legally allowed to buy cigarettes. And they're trying to create this non-cigarette environment. So I don't know how that will work because young people are rebellious, but it's got good intention, so we'll have to see. Um, and what else have we got? We've got non-coronial deaths. Oh, I didn't write that up. But they're going to be, every single non-coronial death is to be reviewed. I don't think that's happening at the moment. But non-coronial deaths are those that are sudden, violent, accident, those kind of things, suicide, those kind of things, they go to the coroner. Um, so every non-coronial death, i.e. those ones that don't go to the coroner, non-coronial death. Actually, I think they're saying non-coronial deaths will be required. Oh. I'm going to have to come back on that one. And HGV drivers will require a safety permit before driving in London as of October 2024. And these um, safety permits will feature a star rating. So as of October 2024, HGV drivers will not be allowed to drive in London unless they have this permit, safety permit. And you know that means more money. More money for the employers, more money for self-employed. <coughs> you just can't get away from it, can you? Another way of stopping, I guess. Um, and I don't know what the requirements are for the HGV drivers. If you are a HGV driver or you know a HGV driver, you better start inquiring from now to see whether or not it's reasonable. And if you know of what the requirements are, please let me know so I can let others know. Now, I wanted to see about what this non-coronial death is since I've got a few minutes. So just bear with me. Non-coronial. Because I'm rushing, I'm, I'm, I'm spelling it wrong. Non-coronial. 
Myrna, take your time. NHS is pleased to please the government is putting the work of medical examiners delivering independent scrutiny of all non-coronial deaths in England and Wales on a statutory footing. So I guess what used to happen is they used to review coronial deaths, but now they're actually going to scrutinise non-coronial deaths. And I think that is good because too many deaths are swept underneath the carpet. So, um... I can't find the one that I actually saw. It was in the Birmingham News. But anyway, if you're interested in something like that, please um, just Google it and find out more information. But for now, I hope that is useful for some of you or somebody that you know. And that's all I've got to say for now. It's Sunday and I am going to chill.